This tutorial is made for those of you who are still struggling with your sixes facts or multiplication facts all the way to 12. So what you need here is your tic-tac-toe and if you're familiar with the three times trick um, you essentially just do the three times trick so um, what you do is you put your one here and you go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine then all you do is put your zeros in the first column for your tens, ones in your tens column for second row, and th sorry, twos. Let me just erase that. You need your twos in your tens column for your um, final row or your third row. And what you're going to do over here is you're going to put 30. All right, and I'll explain how this works in just a moment. So that's your first element of this trick. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom this down and move our screen just a little bit over. And what I'll do is now draw in a new grid just underneath. And do the same thing. What we're, we're going to do is we're going to put the 1, 2, 3 all the way to 9. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What you're going to do is you're just going to continue your um, same tens pattern here. So you got, uh, you left off at 2, so now we're going to leave off at 3s here. You got 4s here. And you got 5s here in the last row in the tens column. And over here, you're going to put 60. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a diamond, or we'll circle these. Once here. And we'll connect them. If baseball field helps you remember this, that's fine too. We'll underline the 30. And we'll also do the same thing down below on this tic-tac-toe board here. <coughs> and underline the 60. So how does this work? Basically, you've just done your six facts because six times one is six, six times two is twelve, six times three is eighteen, six times four is twenty-four, six times five is thirty, six times six is thirty-six, six times seven is forty-two, six times eight is forty-eight, six times nine is fifty-four, six times ten is sixty, and like the three facts, you should know that three times 11, I'm sorry, not 3 times 11, let's erase that. <coughs> like the 3's fact, but now we're doing 6's, 6 times 11, anything times 11 is the first digit times the 11 becomes 66, and finally you have 6 times 12, which again, if you're not sure, you can just add 6 to the 11, or sorry, 6 times 11 is 66, Add 6 to that, and you have 72. And you've just done your 6 times facts in case you weren't sure. So another way of knowing your facts without doing much thinking other than remembering this pattern.